you guys. Alright, so you guys asked for another mukbang video, so you asked and you shall receive. I just made noodles. They're like noodles and then I used butter and salt and pepper and a little bit of cream or mushroom and a little bit of cheese. Because I'm like super plain with that shit. Normally I just do noodles and butter. Like that's about it. But um, I just want to talk to you guys too. Like with this. If you don't like these type of videos you can click off. But some people did ask. So I was like you know what fuck it. Why not. If I'm going to like eat it anyways. I might as well eat it with you guys. But let me tell you. Today has been a hell of a day. That's actually pretty good. So, in case you want to try it, it's regular spaghetti. Use one slice of American, all right, use, okay, so this is how I made it. You boil the spaghetti, and then you make a cream, the condensed cream of mushroom soup. And with that, you do a half a cup of water instead of a whole cup. You microwave it a little bit, mix it up. Okay, and you only add like a tiny little bit to it, a tiny little bit. Like, just so it's got, like, some water to work with. Like, as you can see, there's, like, it's mostly just the liquid. Like, you can't even see, like, that there's any of the actual mushrooms in there. It's just the liquid, really. And then you pour it in. You put, like, shredded cheese, like the Mexican blend. And then um, a slice of American on top with butter. Salt and pepper. Throw it in the microwave for, like, a minute and a half. Take it out. Stir it up. Let it sit for, like, a minute. And it's perfect. It's actually really good. It's like total poor people food, but it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so today's been really hectic. Like, I have friends and like I really care about them a lot. And they feel like, like I had somebody tell me today like that I was throwing stones. And I never, you guys know I do not do that. I am the last person to do that. I do not judge people, whatever. All I try to ever do is help people. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. So if I see somebody and like, oh, my vape. Like, if I see somebody and they're struggling and they look like they need help, hold on. Like, they're probably not going to watch this video. So I'm just going to like give them a fake name. Their fake name is going to be Steve. <laughs> um... So I have a really good friend named Steve, and Steve lives with his mom, and like, they don't get along that well, and she, the mom tells him all the time, like, don't smoke inside, and then he does smoke inside, and he puts burn holes in stuff, because he was more addicted to pills than he was to heroin, and he got on methadone, and obviously, the methadone is fucking him up, because he probably shouldn't have got on it. Um... So now, Steve is mad because, like, I keep trying to tell him, like, yo, you should get a job, like, for yourself, it'll make you feel good, you'll be happy, or, like, um, you know, everybody could benefit from counseling, like, I'm trying to get into, like, a new counselor, I already see a counselor, like, so it's not like I'm trying to judge that I'm just trying to help like I'm just trying to help them be a happier person that's it I'm not judging they're just taking it completely wrong and it sucks and then they called because they like they're associated with our cab company in a way and they're like I don't even want to fucking deal with you guys anymore whatever like to the owner and then the owner called me and was pissed off at me like and it's just because like okay Sound off in the comments, please. I need to know. Am I in the wrong? If you do something, if somebody, like, if you do something nice for somebody on their birthday, okay, like, take them out for coffee, get them some lottery tickets, whatever. I'm sure they know who I'm talking about now. But don't worry, I'm not mentioning any names. Um, And they're just miserable the whole time. Okay, you give them some cash. I didn't give the cash, but they end up leaving with some cash. And they're just not happy the whole time, trying to give the money back, like, miserable, not happy, barely talking, try avoiding us, like, barely spending time with us. You know, we're not even saying more than two words. Isn't that kind of rude? Like, wouldn't, shouldn't you at least, like, pretend? Like, at least pretend you're grateful. At least pretend that you're grateful. 
You know, at least pretend that you're happy you have friends who want to take you out. You know, and if you're going to be like that, then say, listen, I'm in a piss poor mood. I don't want to come out. That's it. They did tell me that they wanted to take a shower so they didn't want to come out, but they didn't say anything about being in a piss poor mood. So now their mom messaged me because I'm close to their mom and was like, I'm worried about him, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, you know what, like, me too, I understand where you're coming from, but, like, I give up, like, me and someone else also get, we give up, because, like, we, like, we've, we've, we try, and he's just not seeing it, like, we're trying to help, and we're trying to be nice, and he's just rude back, and it, it hurts our feelings, and, um, he ended up seeing into her Facebook, and seeing that and getting pissed off at me, which is really hypocritical because he gets really pissed when she does it to him, but then he just went and did it to her. But it's like one of those things where it's like, I understand like his life is stressful. Like he, like it's not bad at all. Like it's not bad. Like he lives with his mom. He gets home cooked meals. Him and his mom argue a lot and him and his dad like are actually getting along better now, I think. But, like, everything else, like, you guys know, and, like, I know, too, we do this to ourselves. If something, like, like, what I'm going with through with the clinic, I did to myself. Um, I was told not to smoke in my apartment. Um, and I was, like, they told me not to have the cops around. And the cops came around, and they kicked the door down, and I smoked in my apartment every once in a while. So... I broke the rules, I got punished. When he breaks the rules, he does not get punished. He's very fortunate. He's very fortunate that, like, his mom tells him not to smoke, and he does, and he doesn't get kicked out. And he doesn't realize that half the reason he doesn't is because I do message her and talk to her, and I tell her not to, like, call the cops on, or any of this other crazy shit. She's wanting to call the cops on him mad times. But he saw one message where I said I'm giving up because when we took him out for his birthday, he hurt my feelings because he was rude the whole time. Whatever. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. But anyways, I don't even want to talk about that anymore. That's just the drama that was going on earlier. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just been like I'm waiting to hear back about these trailers. Things have been like really stressful. Um, if you are in the Saratoga area and you're on a methadone clinic, you should hit me up if you take a Medicab. Like, if you're in the Saratoga, Albany, Amsterdam, pretty much anywhere in, like, the Capital District. <laughs> Um, and you're on a methadone clinic like in Albany or anything like that, let me know because, um, yeah, just hit me up and let me know. Um, you can message me on Twitter. Just let me know the deets and stuff. But, yeah, I don't know. What was I going to say? Anyway, so I did this, like, makeup tutorial. It should be uploaded by now, both of them. It was kind of like crappy because like I don't have a tripod. My camera's not focusing that well. I'm having a lot of issues with my camera, which sucks. Um, I didn't live stream like at all today actually, which is crazy. Just because there's been so much going on and I've, I, I, I just had to write a letter. I just wrote a letter to my doctor's office apologizing and begging for forgiveness. I just have to print it out now and send it to him. And hope that he forgives me. There's a lot of um, discrepancies going on. On what actually happened that day. That I had that altercation at the clinic. 
the one that you guys don't really know much about. Um... And, um, if you're on Patreon, you know exactly what happened. But, if you guys aren't on Patreon, then in due time, in due time, I will be able to tell you what exactly happened, but not right now. Um, just not, not a good time to talk about it. But, things have been stressful. I miss Trevor. I wish he was here. It sucks because, like, I need someone to talk to and I don't have anyone to talk to really about these issues. And my best friend who I normally would talk to is all pissy right now because of the situation going on with the other kid. And my family's got their own issues going on. These are already almost gone. These were really good. I still have leftover noodles, so maybe, like, at least I can have that for dinner tomorrow. I have to wait until the 9th until I get food stamps again. Fuck. But, uh, I'm sure my mom's got something at the house. Mom, if you see this, I'm running low over here. I only really eat once a day, too. Which probably isn't good. Like, I heard you're supposed to eat, like, a couple meals throughout the day. I'm just never, and I'm having a lot of stomach issues really bad. Like, really bad. Um, bad, yeah. You know how Trisha Paytas does, like, those huge mukbangs? I don't know how she does it. And, like, I think th that her body is banging. Like, a lot of people might, like, not a lot of people, but some people might disagree. But she's got, like, I think her body is banging. She's got, like, this tiny waist, like, with this big-ass booty, some big titties. I think she's gorgeous. I wonder what her ethnic background is. Like, I wonder if she took an ancestry test, what it would come up as. Has she ever talked about that before? I feel like she's got some African American in her. A lot of people have said that, actually. She has a lot of African American traits, which is really cool to see in a white, like, I think, well, African American traits on anybody is beautiful. I would kill for some luscious lips. Jeez. <laughs> I think a lot of people are like, a lot of the people who are like racist or whatever, it's secretly because they're jealous. <laughs> because I know I would give anything to be like mulatto. That would be perfect. Like 50-50. 50% Italian and 50% like... Or I don't know, Spanish girls are hot too. Sorry guys. That comes with the mukbang. <laughs> but... Oh, hold on. You can zoom in a little bit. So my makeup from earlier, the one I did the tutorial on, is like kind of coming off now because I was crying when I was writing that letter. It was really pretty, but it was like... This side's janky, but this side was right. But, um... Zoom back out. Yeah. So. Dying. This has been dying a lot recently. Probably because I've been, um, smoking a lot. Hold on. I'm going to go plug this in. I'll be right back. Alright. So I'm going to smoke a cigarette with you guys and then I'm going to take a nap. But, um, 
I've been having this stuff going on with my skin lately. Let's see if you guys can see it. Hold on, wait for it to focus. You see how it's all like... Uh, Alright, right there. See how it's all like lumpy and stuff? Like, I don't know what kind of acne that is. But it's dry... Hold on, let me answer. It was Trevor. I don't know why he didn't just call the house. Interesting. Because the house is forwarded right to my cell phone. So I'm probably going to cut this short because he should be calling back any second now. Um... I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you guys soon. And, yeah, sorry that I had to cut this short, but you should be calling back any minute. So, I love you guys. Bye.